Um, I think we'll turn a little bit more local here. I guess they're all kind of local questions, but what does constituent services mean to you? And what would that look like if you were re-elected or elected? Diane, you are up. Well, constituent service is something that you do every single day, and it is the outreach, not only the neighborhood fest that I have uh, done every single year that I've been elected, it's also the newsletters, it's returning phone calls, it's returning emails, it's the outreach, it's going to community meetings. I've attended over a thousand community meetings to listen to and work with you. Uh, it is uh, bringing people into my office and going out to the community to have conversations. It's visiting uh, businesses to find out how, how they feel about uh, what is going on in their community uh, and what additional kinds of uh, help they need. And I found that part of the help that they need is around public safety. They need a partner who's there uh, with them and for them that's listening to them. I go to the neighborhood meetings and the business meetings. I interface with them and I welcome them to join us at the Neighborhood Fest. It is inter interactive, it is constant. It is not something that you do on occasion. It's something that you do every single day. You've been my friends and my neighbors. You see me at the grocery store. You see me teaching at, at your local uh, high school. That's who I am. I'm not going to be running away from you. I never have. I've always been there. Thank you. Jacob? Constituent services, I would say, is, is twofold. First, as, as Councilmember Hofstad said, yes, it is, it is about retain, returning phone calls, and I pledge to do so every single time within 24 hours. It is about responding to emails, and I also pledge to do so with that, uh, within 24 hours. But there's a second piece, too. And that's this. City council issues, city issues, are by their very nature contentious. And when contentious issues arise, you need someone that's not only going to facilitate engagement and hold a meeting, you need someone that's going to facilitate a resolution. Someone that's going to, to be an advocate for the community and say to developers in some cases, look, you know what, you want to put your building up here? All right, but we need to make sure it's lead certified. We need to make sure that there's a public amenity out front because a public benefit in the end does add private value. And we also need an advocate to, to residents in some cases because here's the truth. Here's the truth. In some cases, you're going to have some people that are annoyed with you. And you still, nonetheless, have to take a stance and be able to say, look, you may want this building. I don't think it's the best option for the community. You may want this building, or I don't think it's a, the best option for the community. Hopefully, you will see that uh, we had the right idea in another couple of years down the road. You need a city council member that's going to take a stance on some of these things, and, and I will. Thank you. 